Hey, what's up everyone? 2022 has not been the most exciting year when it comes to survival games, but fortunately, that's about to change. 2023 is shaping up to be the best year ever for the genre, as many classic games are getting well-deserved remakes, and several other developers are leaping onto the scene with unique stories to tell. Join me as I take you through my top 10 upcoming survival games for 2023 and beyond. The long-awaited sequel to Studio Wildcard's wildly popular 2017 ARK Survival Evolved is nearly here. ARK 2 aims to build on the success of its predecessor by rethinking and redesigning every aspect of the game. To start with, the first-person camera perspective has been replaced with third-person only, and the new combat system is described as Souls-like, with target locking, blocks, dodges, combos, staggers, special attacks, and an emphasis on player skill-based action. The new combat mechanics will be accompanied by advanced character traversal mechanics like mantling, free climbing, parkour, sliding, and swinging. You'll be teaming up with legendary heroes such as Santiago, played by Chronicles of Riddick star Vin Diesel, to take on the forces of evil, likely represented here by orcs. But orcs won't be the only threat. Of course, Arc 2 will see the return of the primeval flora and fauna of ancient Earth. You'll be taming creatures and exploring a revamped component-based crafting system with millions of possible combinations allowing you to create your own unique gear. A new progression system with a massive skill tree will help you develop the skills to evade predators with their new sensory-based AI, which allows them to track and hunt you via scent, sound, and sight. Arc 2 will start as a PC and Xbox exclusive with PS5 access yet to be determined. New cross-platform modding will be supported, rendering for large structures is improved, and building templates can be saved and the implementation of Unreal Engine 5 will allow for convincing foliage interaction, flowing water, volumetric storm clouds, realistic smoke and particles, advanced photorealistic lighting, and more. The game is expected to release in 2023. Между аномалией и маслиной я уже лучше пулю выберу. Stalker 2, Heart of Chernobyl will be the fourth installment in the Stalker series. Set outside of Chernobyl in modern day Ukraine, the game takes place in the exclusion zone in the wake of multiple explosions within the abandoned nuclear power plant. It's a unique blend of first person shooter, horror and open world simulation survival. Warring factions vie for control of the 64 square kilometer radioactive zone that showcases a post-apocalyptic atmosphere from multiple angles. Violent mutants and deadly anomalies appear to have emerged and now inhabit the area. You are a stalker, a mysterious fortune-seeking warrior aiming to unravel the truth concealed within the zone and make your fortune from the otherworldly artifacts found within. The branching, non-linear storyline will offer increased replayability as you fight deadly mutants and anomalies and scavenge for supplies. Choose from more than 30 different unique weapon types as you navigate delicate faction politics. The upgrade to Unreal Engine 5 promises the ultimate immersive experience with cutting-edge photogrammetric and scanning technologies and the so-called A-Life 2.0 a life simulating system that makes the world feel alive like never before. The developers were based out of Kyiv, Ukraine up until several months ago until they relocated to Prague, Czech Republic in the wake of the Russian invasion. Many of the game developers have since joined their country's armed forces to help defend their homeland, and the spelling of Chernobyl has been changed to the Ukrainian spelling as a show of independence. As such, the release time frame is, understandably, still unknown.
Nightingale is a unique first-person PvE solo or co-op open-world survival crafting game set for release in 2023. Enter the Fey Realms, the capital, Nightingale, the last known bastion of humanity, which has been cut off by the collapse of the arcane portal network. You are an aspiring realm walker, one who can navigate the web of transdimensional portals, and your task is to discover a way back to the magical city. For this, you'll need advanced skills and rare equipment. And for that, you'll have to wander through different worlds harvesting trees, ore, plant, and rarer resources found deep within the realms. You'll discover new schematics and assemble the equipment and weapons you need, as well as finding specialized ingredients and arcane technologies to enhance your gear with magical properties. You'll be able to craft realm cards, which can be inserted into portals to direct your path to a realm of your choosing. Nightingale's Call to Fame is an advanced and meaningful procedural generation system. Select cards with realm characteristics that interest you or suit your needs. Card combinations will influence weather, biome, fauna, resources, and threats. Combine them to make a unique realm like no other for you to explore. You can work alone or with friends to explore and freely roam the expansive realms where stunning visuals will transport you into a mystical Victorian gas lamp fantasy timeline. Choose a realm in which to build your base and construct a massive estate, choosing from dozens of blueprints in order to make the ultimate homestead complete with recruitable NPC workers who can assist with production and resource gathering. Titanic creatures can be found throughout. Some are friendly, while others are foes, and others will require careful diplomacy to decide. Release is expected in the first half of 2023. On the surface, Pal World looks something like a Pokemon knockoff with arcade-style combat and vibrant, cartoonish art style, but a deeper look reveals something much more sinister. The premise of the game is that you live with creatures known as Pals who are besieged by poachers. It would take an army to defeat them, or you can just take the easy road and become a tyrannical dictator yourself. You can enact indiscriminate conscription programs to raise your army. Those that are not good at fighting can be sent into the factories for f where Pals will be worked to exhaustion. Develop a complex you program to breed the perfect warrior and fund your war effort by selling off it's been said that an army marches on its stomach, so some will even need to be for food. Pals can be used for body armor and even for ammunition. This is starting to sound like my kind of game. The world is open for exploration over land, sea, and even air. You can build to your heart's desire, and remember, labor laws don't apply to Pals. And multiplayer is supported so that you can turn the exploitation of the animal kingdom into a family affair. Expect for the labor to open in 2023. I must not fear. Fear is the mind killer. One of the most mysterious games on this list is Dune Awakening. Touted as being an open world survival crafting massive multiplayer online game set within the Dune universe, you'll be exploring the desert planet of Arrakis, the most dangerous planet in the universe. You can build shelters against the massive Coriolis sandstorms, maintain your sill suit to preserve the body's moisture, and learn the old ways to survive the desert and the colossal sandworms that dwell beneath. As you explore the world, you'll encounter ruins of long-forgotten biological testing stations, wreckage of fallen spaceships, and abandoned sieges for native villages. All the while, you'll be vying for control of spice. Build and deploy spice harvesters, then protect them against raids from rival factions. Massive battles will ensue for this most valuable resource in the universe. As your experience and wealth increase, and you begin to make a name for yourself, you'll be able to wield your influence to impact the world, construct your fortress, conquer your senses, and acquire powerful abilities. Funcom doesn't have a release date for us yet, but speculation is for 2023 or 24. Only I will remain.
This highly anticipated sequel to The Forest is coming soon. You're sent to a remote island to find a missing billionaire only to find yourself surrounded by a mutant cannibal infested hellscape. You'll have to craft, build, explore, and fight in order to survive. You'll have true agency to play however you want. Explore your options and discover how best to survive. Explore and build by day and defend your base at night, or take the fight straight to your enemy. Solve the story at your own pace as you defend yourself against a range of mutant creatures and demons, some human-like and others like nothing you've seen before. Get down, son! Use a variety of improvised weapons consisting of sticks and stones as well as modern weapons and tools that have been transported to the island in order to get the job done. Survival has never felt this real. Break sticks to make fires, dig trenches and pits, chop down trees, mill them into planks and set up a barricade. Build a mountain fortress or a seaside compound. The choice is yours. Every tree and plant can be chopped down and there is a vast network of underground caves and lakes for you to explore in up to 8 player cooperative multiplayer. The island is teeming with wildlife ranging from birds to insects, reptiles and fish. Find seeds and plant crops for long term sustainability and make sure you store enough food for winter when resources will become more rare. But you're not the only one looking for food. Sons of the Forest was expected in 2022 but delayed twice. With the upgrade to Unreal Engine 5 you can now expect it in February 2023. Emergency announcement. The Rotor Laboratory, on behalf of the government, assures that none of the bacteriological attacks will harm citizens' health. Rooted is an open world post apocalyptic survival game taking place around the year 2100. As one of the last remaining humans, you must progress and adapt among the ruins of the past civilization, which collapsed due to global biological warfare. In the wild, Nature has managed to purify the land, but in the cities, the residue of the devastating bacterial weapons renders them incredibly dangerous without protective equipment. You'll need to explore the world either solo or in cooperation with friends to collect scraps, objects, and learn recipes and restore items from the old world. Communicate with your friends as you coordinate the building and improvement of your camp. As you progress, you can upgrade your defenses, automate tasks, set up electricity, and develop your workshop. With the extremely large play area, having a secondary outpost is very important. Set up smaller outposts in villages or in the city, securing houses or other buildings, and setting up makeshift barricades, partitions, and traps. Salvaging is the key to survival. You can recover, repair, and use many items from the past, including mechanical and electrical components and even clothing. The better the condition of the item you're salvaging, the more you'll be able to recycle and learn for future reassembly. Improving the technology of your camp will slowly increase your quality of life. Of course, you're not alone. Animals roam the land, in addition to other desperate humans. Choose your opponents wisely. The game's Kickstarter campaign just concluded, and release is expected in 2024. Initially, Small Land looks a lot like the 2022 release Grounded, but you might be interested in knowing that Small Land was in development first. And where Grounded takes place in a modern backyard, Small Land appears to take place deeper in the forest, giving it a more wild feel. The world is a huge, open sandbox area for you to explore. Traverse lake-sized puddles and scale skyscraper-sized trees. Battle or tame creatures and discover the strange metallic monoliths left over from before. Discover the lore behind Small Land by meeting hidden NPCs scattered throughout the world. You'll be able to discover hidden resources to craft armor, weapons, shelters, and tools. Collect customizable outfits and armor that not only provide you with resistances and abilities, but also allow you to personalize your look in this solo or co-op PvE or PvP environment. Find your place in the food chain as you encounter wild birds, rats, lizards, spiders, and many more. Engage them in epic battle or tame them and use them as your mount. 
the choice is yours. Weather conditions and seasons are in constant flux, which not only affects your health, but also dynamically affects the flora and fauna of the world. Preparation is key. Dynamic weather and random events organically create hazardous situations or fortuitous events. The exact release date is still unknown, but it's expected in 2023. Until the Harry Potter fans showed up, this was the most wishlisted game on Steam. The Day Before is an open-world massive multiplayer online survival game set in a deadly post-pandemic America overrun by flesh-hungry infected and survivors killing each other for food, weapons, and vehicles. A deadly pandemic swept through the world and basically ruined everything, and now you're left to search abandoned vehicles, houses, and skyscrapers as you scavenge for resources. The game touts stunning visual detail, especially considering the fact that it's an online MMO. Ray tracing technology allows for truly amazing detail and reflections, and the level of detail in dense urban and even wilderness areas is almost too good to be true. Character models, equipment, and vehicles are also truly incredible. You can even encounter environmental challenges like mud-filled roads. But you're not alone in this world. The infected are everywhere, and you'll need to use a combination of brains, brawn, and realistic weapons to become a legend of the new world. You'll have the opportunity to take part in the restoration of the former society before it's too late. But for now, you can spend your time in the survivor colony, where you can converse with others, make plans, and barter in safety. Another victim of delays, as many developers update their games to Unreal Engine 5, the day before is slated for release on March 1st, 2023. Dead Matter has had quite a controversial start to its development. It started with a Kickstarter campaign back in 2017 that made a lot of promises but never delivered, even after raising more than $285,000 on the backs of more than 5,400 supporters. We need your help to get a polished, playable alpha version of our game onto Steam within the next six months. An early access game was promised in six months, but alas, five years have passed without any news, until a few weeks ago, when they posted an update video to their YouTube channel. It's been a minute since we've done one of these, so let me briefly catch you up to speed on what's been going down in 2022. In this update, they announced that their development company has been gutted and fresh talent brought in, and that production has resumed. They updated us on their goals and projections for the game. And while I don't recommend you support them on Kickstarter, this game is probably worth keeping on your radar. Taking place in Alberta, Canada, yet another virus pandemic has turned its victims into ravenous monsters. One by one, the nations of the world have fallen. You've managed to avoid the virus thus far, and you've fled into the Rocky Mountains for safety. But the infected hordes are coming, and winter is on the horizon. And you're not alone. The developers boast hardcore survival mechanics. Of course, there's hunger, thirst, injuries, and sickness, but there's also a complex power grid, water supply contamination, and dynamic zombie swarms. Loot can be found anywhere, but you can expect to find area-appropriate loot that scales with the local threats. Multiplayer is an option, but you can certainly take your chances as a lone wolf. Combat includes ranged and melee weapon options, or even your bare hands to fight the infected with. Multiple playstyles will be supported. Player and infected models have been recently upgraded with Unreal's MetaHuman system providing ultra-realistic faces and clothing. Base building, crafting, vehicles, questing, seasons, and wildlife are all planned additions in the future. No release date has yet been announced. Well, my friends and fellow survivors, that does it for my top 10 survival games for, hopefully, 2023. But I wouldn't be surprised if there are future delays. Most, if not all, of the aforementioned titles have been delayed at least once, but we're bound to get at least one of them before the end of next year. YouTube seems to think that you'll enjoy this video right here, and if I missed any survival games that you're looking forward to, let me know in the comments down below. As always, huge thank you to those of you who continue to support the growth and development of this channel. My name is Temriki, and I hope this video here has earned your subscription. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.